Hey, it's JT Thorne with Go Skate School, and in this video, we are going to be talking about trucks and how to pick the right size for your skateboard. Trucks are literally what allows your skateboard to roll, turn, and grind. Without them, you wouldn't have a skateboard. Now, let's talk about the parts that make up trucks and some important things you should know when picking out your trucks for your skateboard. First, we have the base plate of the truck. This is literally the foundation of the truck. Secondly, we have the axle, and this is what you will grind on when grinding rails and ledges. Third, we have the kingpin and bushings. The kingpin goes through the base plate, through the bushings, and through the axle, and is what holds the whole truck together. This is also what allows you to turn when leaning from side to side. We will talk more about kingpins at the end of this video, but now that we know what trucks are made out of, we can now talk about what to be looking for when picking the right size of trucks for your skateboard. Just like your skateboard, trucks are measured by the width of the axle, and it's important to get the right size of trucks for your skateboard for two reasons. First, if your trucks are too small, you'll have a more difficult time with balance. Second, if your trucks are too big, you run the risk of stepping on your wheels while pushing, which usually ends up in you falling off your skateboard. Having the right size of trucks will help you with balance and speed and enable you to control your skateboard more effectively. Now let's talk about what size trucks you should ride. The size of trucks you choose differs slightly depending on the types of brands you choose to purchase. The sizing of your trucks comes from the two companies, Thunder and Independent Trucks. This is because Independent Trucks and Thunder Trucks are the two most popular brands of trucks in skateboarding. Other truck companies have their own sizing charts as well that are slightly different but are pretty much the same. Don't worry too much about the size of truck that you're purchasing because if you're in the skate shop, they're definitely going to help you. Or if you're purchasing offline, they will always provide a sizing chart to make sure that you get the correct trucks for your skateboard. The size of trucks you should buy is based on the size of your skateboard. I will now read off the size chart so that you can see what size truck is going to work best with your skateboard. With a board size of 7 inches to 7.75, the best size of Thunder trucks will be a 143 to a 145 millimeter truck. In Independence, the best size will be a 109 to a 129 millimeter truck. If your board size is 8 inches to 8.25, the best size of Thunder trucks will be a 147 to a 148 millimeter truck. In Independence, the best size of truck will be a 139 to a 144 millimeter truck. If your board size is 8.3 inches to a 8.5, the best size of Thunder and Independent trucks is a 149 millimeter truck. For decks 8.5 inches to 9 inches, use a 150 51 millimeter truck in both Thunder and Independent. For decks 9 to 10 inches, use a 169 millimeter truck in both Thunder and Independence. For decks 10 inches and above, use a 215 millimeter skateboard truck in both Thunder and Independent. Now real quickly, let's talk about the height of your trucks. Much like the length of your skateboard, the height of your trucks will almost never be talked about. But as you continue to skateboard, you'll be able to notice a slight difference that will help you in your skateboarding. The height of your truck will affect what you can do with your skateboard. If you want more stability for flip tricks, a lower truck with small wheels is your best bet. For cruising and speed, you'll need a higher truck to accommodate large wheels to help you keep up your speed. This is typically common among vert skaters. If you're a beginner, stick with a standard medium truck. The last important piece of information that you need to know about your trucks is how to put them on properly on your skateboard. When putting on your skateboard trucks, you want to make sure that the kingpins are facing each other. If you accidentally put on one of the trucks incorrectly, you'll quickly find that the skateboard will turn the opposite direction that you lean. So ensuring that you have both kingpins facing each other will allow your skateboard to turn whatever direction you would like it to. That's it for me in this video. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget that your sizing chart for your trucks is attached down below. Don't be afraid to try whatever brand of trucks that you want. Find what works best for you, but most importantly, have fun. And if you have any questions, please let me know.